the energy performance uh, project that we hear at the Tupper Building is all encompassing and it touches on multiple goals related to our climate change plan, the carbon dioxide reduced as part of the project, our energy master plan, reducing the energy per square foot. My name is Rochelle Owen, and I'm Executive Director of the Sustainability Office at Dalhousie University. In this particular building and a handful of others were trending very high on the energy side, so that's our first flag is the energy per square foot. So is a key candidate for this type of project because of the energy, but also safety being a lad building and facilities renewal that we needed to upgrade. Peter Coots, uh, AVP of Facilities Management. This EPC is, is instrumental in, in upgrading our uh, medical, our main research building, the Tupper building. It's cutting edge research going on in that building and, and this is, uh, is elemental in, in delivering those uh, services for researchers but also the students and, and the staff. My name is Roger McLeod. I'm the Associate Dean for Research in the Faculty of Medicine at Dalhousie University. The changes of the type that we've been making here within the Tupper Tower are are really important to advancing that. The infrastructure that uh, was appropriate for the 1960s is no longer appropriate for this century. I'm Ted Laux and I'm a partner with MCW Custom Energy Solutions. Dalhousie's been looking at improving their energy performance for, for decades, but in the past 10 years they've created their energy master plan and this project came to be, came to fruition in 2012. Well, for this commercial arrangement called performance-based contracting, there's definitely been an evolution. Now it's a, it's a holistic uh, approach where you're finding what I call the economic fuel, which is utility savings that are operating cost savings, and you're not only trying to implement the improvements that achieve those, but you're using that economic fuel to subsidize sustainability improvements like uh, uh, renewable energy technologies, as well as what's really important here at Dalhousie is uh, recapitalization or facilities renewal. The construction period was about two years as we went through the, through the building, but ahead of that was all the planning that we had to do to, to make the project work, uh, to sort out and figure out exactly where we were going to go space by space so that all the measures were integrated uh, properly as we went through the building. For this particular project in the Tupper building, it uh, really was a, a ventilation retrofit of the lab and fume uh, control systems that really, I would use the term, tethered the air so that we knew what was coming in, what was going out, and were able to provide a much safer environment. really get a one-stop shop with an energy performance contract. Your engineers to do the analysis, your uh, engineers to do your uh, performance assessment, your project managers, construction managers to do the work and uh, to manage the trades and those sorts of things. Well, I think that the environment has really improved. We can see in the lighting that's been installed in this space here, uh, there are aesthetic improvements along with the energy efficiencies. MCW greatly values our relationship with Dalhousie University. They're a leader within the community when it comes to sustainability and we want to help them uh, fulfill that vision that they have. The major issues are, are trying to upgrade a facility while it's still under operations. It's very important, especially with this project, um, because the building that we were working in um, is manned basically 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Communication was key with the users and coordinating their schedules. Uh, that way we would minimize the interruption to the users. They work in a very collaborative approach, which is good to get everyone's opinion and perspective and try to make that work for everyone's, uh, everyone's benefit. Now, the most rewarding part of it is when you, the job is done and you go back into the space and one of the occupants say to you, it's much better here than it was before. Well, um, when I was a student here and when I was studying, some of the important things to me were comfort. Making a place where I felt peaceful and comfortable because studying and learning can be so stressful at times. So if we can improve occupant comfort, if we can give better light conditions, if we can uh, rejuvenate equipment through energy projects that they wouldn't have otherwise got through normal conventional replacement, 
um, projects. The greatest reward is, is actually the teamwork. Working with MCW, our, our EPC contractor, working with the staff, the researchers, our facility management people. I mean, this is how these jobs get done. They get done with teamwork. We've met our goals. Uh, we're early in the stages of uh, the full analysis. I think it's going to take pro uh, several years before we're, once we get through some real fine tuning of our, of our systems to, uh, to, I think we'll optimize and, and uh, uh, probably uh, beat the goals we set out. At the point, uh, I think, ecologically speaking, that it's good we, re we talked about it, but really the time for talk is kind of over and we have to act and we may have to act with more speed than we did before. So uh, I think it's important to keep optimistic about making change and the fact that we have to make more change sooner. We're stewards of the, of the campus and we have a responsibility toward uh, sustainability. I mean, uh, everybody does.